What's up guys, Nathan here, and today I'm gonna to give you my top five simple poker tips that are going to start quickly getting you much better results at the poker table. Now these are five easy strategies that anyone from pretty much any skill level can start incorporating into their game right away in order to start getting consistently better results in poker, so let's jump right into it. All right, so tip number one is to play in position more. Now what do I mean by playing in position? Well, I am specifically talking about the button and the cutoff. These are the two statistically proven most profitable seats at the poker table. And the reason why is because you get to act last on the flop, turn, and river, the post-flop streets in poker, which is an enormous statistically proven advantage in poker because you get to see what your opponents do before you act. This allows you to get in more value bets, more bluffs, or even fold your hand if you think that you're beat. The bottom line, guys, is that information is power in poker. And so we always want to be putting ourselves in a position where we get to act after our opponent has already decided what they do. We don't want to be acting first and playing the guessing game, which happens if you're at a lot of other seats at the poker table. So one of the biggest simple poker tips that you can start using right away to start getting better results is to just simply start playing more hands on the button and the cutoff because like I said it's just statistically proven that you're going to win more from these positions. All right so tip number two is to fast play your big hands. Now this often goes against some of the strategy advice these days which is to slow play and to you know just check and be tricky but honestly guys that's not really the best strategy in most small stakes poker games in particular which is what most of you guys watching this video probably play. The reason why is because players in small stakes games are notoriously passive. So if we slow play our hand by checking or just calling with a big hand, you know, they're just going to play passively. They're just going to check behind themselves and the pot is not going to grow. So as I talk about in my first book, you know, fast play is the new slow play these days. You need to build the pot. If you want to win a big pot, you have to build it. So I'm talking about hands like pocket aces, pocket kings. I'm talking about when you hit three of a kind on the flop or even when you flop a straight, it's okay to make a raise or to make a big bet. Don't be afraid of scaring them out, guys. Remember, the majority of your opponents in lower stakes games are very passive. You're not going to win a big pot unless you build it for them. There's no point in checking it down and playing all tricky. Make sure you play your big hands fast. Yes, once in a while, they're going to fold, but you gotta remember if they don't have anything, they were going to fold anyways. So don't be afraid of making them fold. Bet and raise with your big hands and you're going to have more success. So speaking of raising, tip number three is to raise your draws. Now again, this is a strategy that goes against the grain of a lot of the traditional advice to just call with your draw and to just play it slow and, and see if you hit your hand. But guys, we don't hit our hands very often in poker. In fact, a flush draw or a straight draw is typically only going to come through around one out of three times on the flop. And if you're on the turn and you still haven't hit your draw, you're only gonna hit about one out of five times. So, you know, we don't need to be a math genius to understand that this is a losing strategy to just call with your draws. So what we need to be doing is mixing in some raises when we have a flush draw, straight draw, for example, in order to take down some more pots without the best hand by pushing our opponent out of the pot. This is a simple way to start winning more with your draws because you're giving yourself more ways to win the pot. The person who just only calls and only gives themselves a chance to make the best hand in poker usually does not win in the long run because again, the math is against them. So the bottom line here, guys, is always to give yourself more ways to win the pot in poker and usually you're going to do that by playing aggressively more often in some spots, by making some bluffs in order to give yourself that opportunity to win the pot, not just by making the best hand, but also by pushing them out of the pot. All right, so tip number four is going to be to bluff the river more often. And once again, this is all about giving ourselves a chance to win more pots without the best hands. Because guys, what you need to remember about poker is that everybody gets dealt the same amount of good hands and bad hands over the long run. And so the person who wins, the big winners that you see, you know, they always seem to be at the final table with the million dollar bracelets and, and the million dollars on the table and everything. Why are these people getting ahead? Why do they seem to always be winning consistently at poker when everybody gets dealt the same amount of good and bad hands in theory over a long enough time frame. It's because
because they're taking away more of those small pots where nobody really has anything, like I just talked about by raising draws, for example, and the river is another situation where you want to be trying to take away some more pots when you don't have the best hand. Now, the best way to do this is to specifically pick the hands where you have literally no chance of winning at showdown. For example, you have a hand like 6-5, you've missed your draw terribly on the river, you have nothing, you have 6 high. There is no point in checking behind here because you're basically never going to win the pot. You know, even if the guy's got like 8 high, he's still going to beat you. So, so you want to be looking to make bluffs more often in these spots. Now, it is important though to remember we don't want to just be bluffing on any specific board. You know, I've made videos here on the channel before talking about how a successful bluff in poker needs to tell a believable story. So you don't want to be bluffing on boards with bad runouts that just paired the board or, or a lot of low cards came in because they're just going to call you down with, with their top pair or their middle pair. You want to be bluffing instead on board runouts on the turn and river is what I mean when I'm talking about a board runout with scare cards, especially Broadway cards like an ace, a king, a queen, because these are the cards that are going to make them uneasy with their top pair or their middle pair that they had on the flop. You know, if they had a pair of tens or a pair of nines, for example, they're not going to like it when an ace and a king comes on the, on the turn of the river. So those are the boards that you want to be bluffing. Bottom line though, guys, you need to win more pots in poker when you don't have the best hand. A great way to start doing that is to bluff more on the river when you have literally no chance to win the pot, especially when some scary cards came on the turn and river. All right, so my final poker tip for you is to float more flops. Now, what do I mean by that? Now, floating in poker is when you are in position, which is means you are last to act, and it means that you just call their bets. Now, why do we need to be doing this more on the flop in particular. The reason why, guys, is because a lot of people play to fit or fold these days on the flop specifically. And what I mean by that is they only continue in the hand if they have something. But what we need to remember is most of the time you don't hit anything on the flop, and most of the time they don't have anything either. You know, most people these days make what we call a continuation bet on the flop, which is a standard kind of bet. And the thing is, is it doesn't actually mean that they have anything. Remember, most of the time they don't have anything either, so you need to start using your position, remember we talked about that, at the poker table to your advantage more often, and you do this specifically on the flop by just calling, and this sets you up to take away the pot on the turn. Because a lot of people these days will make their continuation bet on the flop, but if you call on the turn, they'll get all gun shy, they'll wave the white flag, they'll check to you, you can make a small bet and often take down the pot. So this has been one of my biggest profit sources in recent years is simply floating more flops. Try to have some equity. You want to have a couple over cards or some sort of weak draw or something at least. You always want to have that backdoor card in your pocket. But the bottom line is, guys, you need to start finding more ways to take away the pot when you don't have the best hand, which is kind of a theme of many of the points in this video. But I hope that a couple of the simple tips on this video are going to help you start winning more consistently in your poker games. I would encourage you to start trying a few of these right away at the poker tables and let me know in the comments below if they helped you get some better results at the poker tables. And if you guys want to see more poker videos like this, make sure you are subscribed to the channel here and also shove all in on that like button below if you found this video helpful. And lastly, I'll leave a copy of my free poker cheat sheet. That'll be the top link in the description below. Once again, it's totally free. You can read it in an afternoon and that'll give you my complete step-by-step -step guide to smashing the small and mid stakes games in particular. Finally, I will leave another poker video that I made just recently right here that I think will help you guys out some more. So thanks a lot for watching guys. I hope these simple tips help. I will catch you next week. This has been Nathan Williams with BlackRain79.com.